Hi, I'm Natalie Wood, Yara's Agronomy Operations Manager, and I'm just going to talk to you today about the Yara N-Tester. This is the N-Tester BT. Um, BT just stands for Bluetooth because it connects directly to your smartphone. So, what is the N-Tester? Basically, it's a chlorophyll meter that's looking at the amount of nitrogen that's in the crop. And it does this by looking at the levels of chlorophyll. So you put a uh, leaf through that um, lens, pinch it together, it detects how much light has gone through that leaf, and from that it can determine the amount of chlorophyll. There's then a direct correlation between the amount of chlorophyll and the nitrogen in the leaf. From this, you can then get a nitrogen recommendation for your crop as well. Um, as you can imagine, because of that, you can increase your nitrogen use efficiency quite a lot with this device. It is a non-destructive device, so you don't need to um, pull up any plants or destruct any of those leaves. Um, I'm just going to pull one up for uh, demonstration purposes. So if we just grab one of these plants, um, if we just get the main stem, what we want to do is look at the youngest fully unfolded leaf. So you can see these ones here aren't fully unfolded, so we need to go with the, the fully unfolded leaf there. When you're looking at the, the crop, you want to measure the middle part of the leaf here. If you're at the base or at the tip, then you can start to skew the results slightly. So what we want is the middle of the leaf um, to take your reading. You want a nice clean uh, leaf as well. If it has got disease um, or any other pressures on that leaf, such as drought, stress, etc., you know, it is going to skew that reading. So just bear that in mind when you are taking your intestinal readings. But as I mentioned, you do not need to pull up the plants. Um, you will go around the field testing the, the leaves. Um, you need 30 readings to get your average for that um, measurement to come through. What I would say is make sure that you take a really representative sample, same as you would do with soil sampling. So make sure you do that W shape pattern so that you've got a good um, measure of the whole field. If you have got areas that are particularly different or you have a problem area, test them separately you know it's much more precise that way and you're not going to get a skewed response from the measurement from the poor area um, and then apply the wrong amount of nitrogen to the good area so the end test of bt um, as the name suggests with bluetooth it works with your smartphone so you will need the at farm app on your smartphone before you start to use this device um, a question that i get asked quite often is how do i connect the device um, you know it's not connecting to my phone the reason for that is you need to get to the point of taking an actual sample before it will ask you to connect. So wait for it to prompt you um, once you're ready to take that sample and then it will give you the option to connect there. So once you've put in your parameters in the app, um, such as the variety, the growth stage, the predicted yield and the uh, soil nitrogen supply, you're ready to go out and take your samples. As I say, it's 30 samples across the field. Try and make it nice and representative. Once you've got those, it will come back with a res result there. Um, and what you'll see is the average end tester reading for all of those 30 that you've taken. And it will also give you a nitrogen recommendation in kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. So once you've got that, you can then obviously um, use that as your nitrogen recommendation. So what we're effectively doing by using the end tester is putting on what the crop requires when it requires it. So once we get to that kind of 37, 39 growth stage, you're putting on exactly what the crop needs to get it to that yield. Um, by doing this, you're really increasing nitrogen use efficiency because you're putting on what the crop's telling you it wants, basically. So you can imagine, you know, that's going to increase the efficiency a lot than just chucking. I you know I always put 40 or 50 kilos on at this time of year. You know, it will um, make it a lot more precise to, to use something that's telling you what the crop wants. So hopefully with your end tester device, you will have increased your nitrogen use efficiency um, significantly. In trials work, we've seen um, increases from, say, 30 odd percent up to 70, 80 percent, which is ideal. That's what you want to see with this. You're giving the crop exactly what it needs when it needs it. Um, so, yeah, you're going to see good increases in efficiency with this device. If you do want a bit more advice or information on how the end tester works or how to use the app farm app, then we did do a webinar a few weeks ago, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, and also, there's lots of information on our website there at yara.co.uk. Um, so hopefully that's um, all you need to start going out and using your end tester and looking forward to some of those increases in efficiency. Thank you.